Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 76 of Java for tester series that is using for loop with single dimensional arrays. So in this video session, I am going to explain how to use for loop with single dimensional arrays. Okay. So instead of me explaining this in a theoretical way, okay, I would like to prefer explaining how to use for loop with single dimensional array in a practical way. So let me switch to the practical mode. And uh, here you can see inside this demo class, there is a main method. And inside this main method, I will define a variable. Okay. Let's say this is a variable A, guys. I would like to declare this variable as integer array. This variable data type is integer array so that you can store multiple integer literals into this variable A. This will become an array, guys. Okay. So open the curly brackets, close the curly brackets, and in between that provide good number of values. So let's say 5, comma, 7, comma, 9, comma, 2, comma, 4, comma, 6, comma, 1, okay, 99, 56. Give, give different values, guys. 40, 34, okay, 45, 67, 78, 89, okay, 12. 36, like that you can give any number of values here, guys. Okay, these are the different integer literals. So multiple integer literals that you are trying to store into this variable A because this variable A is declared with which data type, integer array data type. So you can store multiple integer literals into this array variable A, okay? Fine, now I want to find the, I want to, before I demonstrate, before I demonstrate how to use for loop with single dimensional array, I would like to find the size of this array, okay? I have to use this size in the for loop guys. Why I'm trying to find the size of this array? Because I have to use the size in this for loop. I'll explain why, okay? For now, find the size of this array guys. So the size of the array is, uh, let, let me print the size of the array. Here I will say the size of the array is, the size of the array is plus a dot length. This is the size of the array, okay? Length is a predefined variable in Java using which we can find the size of the array. Here, array variable dot length, if you say, it will get, get the size of this array. So, what is the size here, guys? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 15 is the size of the array. Okay, 16, right? Uh, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 is the size of the array. So, when this statement is printed, what will happen, guys? Let me run this. Uh, it will print, it will get us the size of the array, that is 16. The size of the array is 16. We have 16 integer literals that, that are stored into this uh, array variable A, okay? Now I'm going to use the for loop, okay, with single dimensional array. I'm going to use for loop with the single dimensional array, guys. So you know the syntax for how to use a for loop, right? In the previous, you know, one of the previous videos, I explained for loop iterative statement already. So I'll go, I'm going to do the same thing. So for, for we'll have three sections, guys, okay? Like this, there are three sections. In the first section, we'll say int i is equal to initialization section, this is. The first section is initialization section. Here, why I'm assigning the value zero to this variable i? Because here, this is an array, guys. In the array, all these elements will be stored in an array, OK? And the first, first element will have the index 0. That's why I'm giving 0, guys. The second element will have 1 and all, OK? So the index value of the first element that is going to be stored into the array will be 0. That's why I'm assigning the value 0 to this i. Then I will say i less than, OK? Int i is equal to 0 because 0 is the index of the first value that will be stored into the array. Then i less than the size of the array I have to give guys. Okay, here int i is equal to zero. I less than I have to give the size of the array. What is the size of the array, guys? I already found it, guys. A dot length is the size of the array. That is here. 16 is the size. So I'll give the a dot length directly here. I less than a dot length. Then I have to increment it. Okay, increment it. Starting with the index zero. Okay, starting with the index zero, and the last one will be index 15, guys. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15 is the index of the last element in this uh, last value in this array okay because the size of the array is 16 so it starts from 0 0 to 15 will be the index that's why i gave i is equal to 0 i less than a dot length i gave that means i less than 16 up to 15 it will be considered this okay from index 0 to index 15 this uh, this for loop will be iterated that's how we have created this for loop guys now inside this i will say system dot out dot println okay system dot out dot println if i have to print the this first value 5 okay then i have to give something like this guys a of 0 i have to give a with the index 0 i have to give okay array having the index 0 will give the value 5 if i give the index value as 1 what will come guys what will be printed if i give a of 1 0 this is 1 so 1 means 7 will be printed here the second value in the array will be retrieved okay the second value will be at the index value 1 in the array guys so that will be retrieved like this if i give 15 here a of 15 okay which value will, will you will will be retrieved guys a of 15 which value will be retrieved this one okay this is the 15th index that is 36 will be printed here so instead of giving the numbers directly guys i will simply say i here okay just understand this for loop guys you have to practice this for loop okay same way i did int i is equal to 0 it starts with the index 0 until i less than 16 a dot length is 16 right this is the size of the array is 16 so i less than 16 that is up to 15 it will be iterated guys okay index 0 to index 15 this for loop will be iterated when the i value becomes 16 we will come out of this for loop because 16 cannot be less than 16 that will be false 15 is less than 16 so up to index 15 this loop will be iterated so how this is going to work and let me explain guys okay before i run it so initially all these uh, 16 values will be stored into this array variable a okay and uh, then the size of the array is uh, a dot length that is 16 will be printed like this once that is done here in the for loop int i is equal to this initialization section will be executed first that is the value 0 will be assigned to the variable i the, so the current value of i is 0 okay then this condition will be verified after initialization this condition section will be executed that is 0 i current value of i is 0 0 less than 16 true or false 0 less than 16 is size of the array 0 less than size of the array is 16 0 less than 16 is true guys so it will go inside this for loop and it will print a of what is the current value of i current value of i is 0 a of 0 is what guys 5 5 will be printed in the output okay as part of the first iteration the 5 got uh, printed guys okay then the control will go to this uh, incrementation section or decrementation section whatever we call in the for loops okay so here the i value will be incremented by 1 so i will become from 0 i will become to 1 the current value of i is 1 so this condition will be verified next 1 less than a dot length 1 less than 16 is again true so it will go inside this for loop and here a of 1 will be printed what is a of 1 the value 7 so after 5 the value 7 will be printed then i will be i will become 2 i will be incremented to 2 so here 2 less than 16 is again true so a of 2 will be printed here a of 2 is 9 so 9 will be printed like that guys finally all these values will be printed okay all these values still here will be printed in the last value okay i will become 15 okay when i becomes 15 15 less than 16 is true a of 15 is this 36 okay finally after all the values got printed in this array finally the last value that is 36 will be printed here then i will be incremented to 16 so 16 less than 16 16 less than 16 is false then we will come out of the for loop so this is how guys we can iterate through all the values that are stored in the array using this for loop okay here in this example i am retrieving the values stored in the array and along with that i am printing them into the output okay so using this for loop and we are iterating through all the values that are stored in the array and uh, in this example i am printing the values stored in the array into the output console so let me run this and observe that all the values in the array will be printed guys okay the size of the array is 16 the size of the array is 16 and these are the values okay starting from 5 the first iteration with the index value 0 5 got printed like that the last iteration with the index value 15 the 36 the last value got in the array got printed guys this is how guys we can use uh, for loop with the 
arrays single dimensional arrays the purpose of the using the for loop with the single dimensional arrays is through iterate through each and every value in the array okay we can iterate through each and every value that is stored in the array fine so this is how guys we can use a for loop with single dimensional array and uh, you need to practice this program guys and you have to get the result then only it will be like uh, you will gain the confidence so after this session just uh, practice uh, using for loop with the single dimensional array and try to get this values printed in the output console okay so that's it guys in the next video session i will explain how to use for each loop with single dimensional arrays till now i have not explained anything about this for each loop guys this is the first time i'm going to explain about the for each loop okay as for each loop can be used with arrays okay you can use for each loop with uh, arrays that's the reason since the arrays concept has come here i am going to demonstrate how to use for each loop with single dimensional arrays in the next video session so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye